Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Rhys here from Stoic Pool, and this is the introduction slash orientation kind of part of the Aiken course, empowered by the Cardano Foundation. And what we're basically going to be doing in this course is we I'm going to take you through step by step everything you need to be able to build dApps, complex dApps on Cardano using Aiken Lang. If you don't know me, I'm Reese. I run Stoic Pool. I'm also a D-Rep and I am a full-time smart contract developer on Cardano. And so they're my credentials. In this course, we're gonna start from super, super basic kind of single validators. I'm gonna take you through the very basics of like getting set up with Aiken. And then we're gonna work on simple validators and we're gonna add more and more complexity. We're gonna learn design patterns. We're gonna learn some best practices, some optimization strategies. We're gonna look at some common vulnerabilities. We're going to do unit tests, validator level transaction tests so we can benchmark our validators and some property based testing as well. There might be some bonus stuff thrown in. We'll kind of see how it goes, but that's basically what's going to be going on in this course. Uh, before we get started, things you're going to need. You're going to need um, an environment to write your code. So whether that's VS Code, I'll be using VS Code in this because I think it's what most people are gonna be using, but I would recommend if you're on Windows that you set up uh, WSL or some other virtual machine to use a Linux environment, Mac, or if you're already on Linux, don't really matter. The reason is that Windows doesn't really like ASCII characters. It doesn't like display them very nicely. So what we wanna make sure we can do is we get the proper Aiken experience, the CLI tools, the feedback, the warnings, everything is displayed really, really nicely. And if you're using Windows and you can't render those ASCII characters, then you're basically, you're gonna be, it's an uphill battle. It's just not gonna be very easy to read everything, all the feedback that the CLI is giving you. So just set up nice. You do have other options as well. There's um, Aiken has a playground, but the uh, CLI experience isn't there. So it'll show you that there's been an error, but it doesn't really give you the feedback you need to be able to correct that or to just pinpoint where that error is occurring. It just tells you there's an error. So it's not ideal, but it's good enough if you don't have you know, your own virtual machine or like whatever, you don't have the environment you need to be able to write this natively on your computer. So uh, the other option as well is like a cloud service that the Aiken team TX5 put together called Demeter, Demeter.run. And that's really, really good. Um, they have like a free tier, I'm pretty sure. They might not, they might have changed, but you can use that as like uh, basically like a web environment to be able to do your programming, to do anything on Cardano really, but uh, specifically if you don't have the ability, like your laptop isn't good enough or your computer isn't good enough to run a WSL or some other virtual machine and you're on Windows or you just wanna work in the cloud because maybe you wanna, maybe you wanna be able to work across different machines, that is an option as well. Demeter Run is a really, really good tool that you definitely should check out if you haven't already. Um, okay, cool. So that's the orientation. You don't really need some programming experience, but I imagine most of you will. If you don't, we're gonna go through a lot of this stuff from like the ground up. Um, but I am going to just like be typing out the code and talking you through it. So if there's stuff you don't understand, you can check out Agen's Discord. Uh, you can comment on the videos or reach out to me at Stoic Pool and I'll try and help you out however much I can. The team at TX Pipe are fantastic, super friendly. Everyone in their Discord is really friendly as well. So I definitely recommend that you join the Discord so you can get that kind of um, interaction with the team and other people in the community who are writing smart contracts and they can help solve problems that you have in the future. Uh, but for now, we're basically going to cover everything. You're not gonna need to go around asking questions about things. If you do, just pop them in the comments. All of the code, that's gonna be done in this course is gonna be available on GitHub. So at the bottom in the description of every video, I'll have links to the uh, code. So you can go and check that out yourself. You can pull that, you can look at it, you can try and change it and mess around with it. And of course you can do any of the homeworks that I set during the course for that as well. All right, so that's it, quick orientation. Let's get into the Aiken course, guys. In the next video, we're gonna be having a look at the Aiken Lang site and uh, the docs and just getting set up. So I'll see you then.